Hey guys, welcome back to Metroid Fusion. In the last part we failed pretty epically against Nightmare. I managed to kill him but then I lost to the Core X. So we have to try again. Anyways, here he is. Try to get him to fly up as high as he can so you can get under him and blast his generator. Okay, gravity's weird and distorted. I'm actually not doing so bad right now. Sweet, I already destroyed his generator. Get up here, line him up, and blast away. Eat missiles, you alien scumbag. Wow, not bad, like, he's already halfway destroyed and I only, I've only lost f half of my health. So we're about even, so... Yeah, just ignore what I just said. Eat missiles, douchebag. Wow, I'm really doing good right now. Like, I'm up to the core already and I still have four energy tanks left. Like, I got this one in the bag. Sweet. Ah, snap, he still hit me. Uh, thank goodness I finally defeated this guy. Because I was stuck on this boss for so very long when I first played this game back in 2002 or 2003. Okay, we defeated him. Victory dance. Woo! And get the gravity suit. Move freely in water. Oh yeah, we still have to get that one. It's a mainstay of Metroid games. The gravity suit. And now we're purple. Thank goodness, because I was starting to get pretty sick of the yellow. It looked really bad. Anyways, destroy all these things. And yeah, now we can move in water just like we can move on land. And oh great, it's speed booster blocks. Go back into Nightmare's room and... Make a run for it. Running, running. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and okay, now I see what we need to do. Like, remember in the last part down here, there were these speed booster blocks underwater that I didn't know how the hell we were supposed to get through? Well, I think we have to take another shot at that right now. Because, you know, we can do the speed booster underwater now. Ah, freaking space pirate mermaids. Damn you. Okay, let's give it a try. Blast open the door. And... Bam! Through the walls. And we're in sector 4 now. That's weird. Okay, what are these things? Screw attack blocks. Why is everything screw attack blocks? I don't... It's like the only power-up I don't have yet. And that speed booster. Perfect. <laughs> okay, looks like we have to go back into the tunnel. This ought to be a fair enough distance. Running, 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 and jump! Ah, come on! I hope those are bomb... Ah, oh, come on! Okay, back again. I epically fail at platforming yet again. Running, 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 running. Man, I need to jump earlier. This sucks. Freaking speed booster puzzles. Okay, take... Three or four, I've lost count. Okay, that's how you do it. And there's a little save room in there, so I'm so going there because I do not want to be fighting Nightmare again. Unless it's in Metroid Other M, because he's pretty damn easy in there. And now we're back in Sector 4, so... It's a good thing we have the gravity suit, or we'd be completely screwed. Those shell... Things on the ceiling are pretty annoying. You can only hit them with charged plasma beam shots. And yeah, otherwise you can't hit them. So let's see what's in here. 
have to blow up all those things because their projectiles are really annoying. Uh, oh, hey, a red thing. Those creatures from Sector 5 are apparently in here as well. Man, I wish I could shoot through walls already. Okay. Oh, boy, that's not good. Oh, hey, another missile tank. Guess that works. If I can just take out... Oh, come on, the missile tank's blocking my shots. That's just bullshit. Okay, we have what we need. Let's get out of here. More missiles. And stupid fish, get out of the way. Giant purple fish. Die. Let's see now. Go all the way down, apparently. Mm, left. Hmm. We're in some nice coral reefs now. Ah, the beautiful scenery. Hey, where are you going? Okay, let's just nuke this place. Oh, missile blocks. Okay, I can go through there. Works for me. Gotta love how you can freeze something underwater and not like all freeze all the water as well. I mean, firing an ice, a projectile that freezes things underwater, shouldn't that theoretically freeze all the water around it? So yeah, I didn't, I wasn't expecting this game to have like real-world physics anyway, so I'm not going to make a big issue out of it. No, we needed to go down here somewhere. One of these things, or two of these things. Um, let's see. No. Oh yeah, it was uh, over here. It's a little cavity that you can't see. Hmm. Crap. There's a fish. And there was a fish. Because fish do not deserve to live. Uh, okay, down here and... Oh, hey, that's convenient. We find the level 4 security room. So now all of the hatches are open. So there's no more keeping secrets from Samus in this station. And now we have to space jump all the way up this shaft. This part was a nightmare when I first played this game because I had... I only managed to pull off a space jump like 30% of the time. Because it's really tricky controls actually. You have to like press A in the correct rhythm to keep on jumping and stuff. Anyways, oh crap, space pirate mermaid. Um, maybe there ought to be some secrets in here as well. I mean, the other one had missile blocks. Okay. Oh, hey, another missile tank. Yay. Uh, this just calls for a power bomb, because I'm too lazy to shoot. Yay. Okay, get in here. Haha, uh -huh, he didn't see that coming. Ooh. Uh, what is, what the, is that thing? Fat seahorse. Creepy. Okay, let's just jump up. Go in here. Okay, this just has to have more secrets. Okay, maybe not. Weird. So there's a big room here now, and there ought to be some secrets here. Yes, and a little passageway. To a save room, sweet. I love save rooms. So that's one of my major gripes with the Metroid series, that you can't save wherever you want to. But then I guess that's kind of like the charm. Can I blow those things up already? Okay, so I can go there and I can go down there because that little buffer thing's blowing the way. They're blocking, blocking the way. And if you those puffer things are annoying because if you get too close they blow the inf they inflate and then you can't go there 
So you have to like freeze them from a distance. And then you can get through if you're lucky. And there was a little speed booster thingy there, so it looks like we have to find a path to speed boost along. Which I guess this'll do. If they would just stop shooting at me. Okay. Running, 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 running. Whoa, that was close. I, the speed boost like activated right on top of those blocks. Do I have like another speed booster thingy here? No. Aw oh, man, why is it always screw attack blocks? And you could like use the ice missiles to freeze all of them and like clear a path that way, but I'm just gonna space jump because I because you can. Make a little hole there. Oh crap. Come on. Don't hit the spiky thing because they hurt. See, you don't need missiles for that. Though how the hell do you get in there with missiles? That room makes no sense. This calls for another power bomb. Yes, bring me all your health. And hey, there's a data room right below us. Sweet, we're about to get another upgrade. Hopefully. Let's see what it is. Diffusion added to missiles. Charge with R, fire with B. Okay. Apparently have some kind of charge missiles now. They charge automatically and then... Whoa! That's a neat piece of weaponry. Hmm. I can go in here. Ooh. Eh, was that a power bomb thing or Yeah, I reckon. There has to be something here. Power bomb it. A uh, missile tank. Though I'm really running low on power bombs, so I can't like look for things soon. Ooh. Okay, so that was down there. Anyways, we're done with Sector 5 and also Sector 4 now. So let's just get back to the computer and... First recharge and save and yada yada. There we go. We're really packing a punch now. 8 energy tanks, 135 missiles, 16 power bombs. So I'll save the data now and then I'll see you in the next part of Metroid Fusion.